Welcome to HuFin News. Today is November the 15th, 2017, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis whereby we are giving you price predictions, price movement according to the price bars and the volume. We are not investment advisors and we are not giving you investment advice, but rather we are giving you the news according to the charts. So you guys can see that the market cap for the overall cryptocurrency market has increased substantially all the way up to 219.9 billion dollars yesterday it stood at 209 so that tells you about 10 billion dollars of new money came into the market which is phenomenal and you guys can tell where a majority of that money went and it probably went to Bitcoin Cash. I mean, I'm sorry, Bitcoin up 9.17%. Our analysis on our video yesterday forecasted Bitcoin to at least go to $7,000. So it has definitely exceeded our expectations, but nevertheless, the market went where we wanted it to go, and that was higher. But you guys can see that Ethereum ended the day lower, down 1.58%. Bitcoin Cash as well, 3.12. Ripple had a pretty good day, up 1.5%. Litecoin up 1.32. Dash had a minor loss today, down 0.67. But then look at IOTA. A lot of money also came into IOTA today. They're up 25.59% now trading back up at this number seven slot for the major cryptocurrencies neo down 0.88 percent and monero had a positive on today just a slight positive up 0.28 and ethereum classic down one percent so let's see what's going to happen for these cryptocurrencies so currently bitcoin is up 8.30 percent Last trade was at $7,234.40. So looking at this daily price chart, this is a definite precursor of strength. It is a push to go up bar. The volume is awfully strong, is healthy, which tells us that Bitcoin is still aiming for higher prices. That being said, we're looking for them to at least come and touch or come around $7,500. But given the fact that the bar cl closed off of the highs, it is a possibility for Bitcoin to move lower. And if it does, it might come all the way back down to $7,100 or even $7,000. So keep that in mind as well. But given the strength of this bar, we're still expecting them to at least come to and around $7,500, if not higher, just like what occurred today but the market may take a break on tomorrow and trade sideways so now we're going to ethereum ethereum is down 0.78 percent last trade was at 330 dollars and 73 cents so we forecasted ethereum to at least come up to 340 on our video yesterday it did that we forecasted it that it might come back down to 320 and it did that as well one of the things that we do like to see is the fact that Ethereum did not break that $320 support area. It just came and touched and the market brought it all the way back up into the middle of the bar. The volume is also light, meaning that there wasn't that much selling going on today for this particular cryptocurrency. One of the things that we are forecasting is for Ethereum to continue in the short term to trade sideways and that's going to be between 320 and 340 again now this re this particular bar resembles a trial run bar and we need to get that confirmation on the next day if the market closes higher then the market is still giving us precursors of strength overall if not then the market will be moving lower okay but as long as ethereum trades sideways above this 320 dollar area the market will be moving higher but if it breaks 320, then the market will not be moving up to $350. But currently, Ethereum is still giving that prospect of moving all the way back up to at least $340 one more time. And if the market is really strong, $350. But right now, 
we're just expecting them to trade sideways so now we're going to Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin Cash is down 4.02% last trade was at $1,183.40 so looking at the daily price chart for Bitcoin Cash, the market is still giving us precursors of weakness. The market was able to shoot higher, but it closed lower towards the close of the bar. Let me give you guys a smaller time frame so we can see where Bitcoin Cash is likely to come and touch at support. So this is 12 hour bars. So one of the good things is the fact that the volume is high for this last 12 hour bar for Bitcoin Cash, which tells us that the market participants were, were trying to consume or buy up as many of those shares that were being sold at that price. Will there be enough to maintain price around that area? We are not certain, but if the market is going to continue to move lower as what we're getting right now, it may ultimately come all the way back down to one thousand one hundred dollars and if we get more precursors of weakness then it would definitely come down to one thousand okay but one of the positive things that we are seeing for bitcoin cash is the fact that the volume is higher right here at the close or the low of this bar so the market may in fact shoot higher if it does shoot higher the market may come all the way back up to $1,350 or even higher but given the fact that on the daily price chart we are getting precursors of weakness then the market may move towards $1,100 and touch it and then move higher from there because one of the things we can acknowledge on this daily chart is the fact that the volume is decreasing as Bitcoin Cash is moving lower So now we're going to Ripple. So Ripple is up 1.40%. Last trade was in the upper 20 cents range. So the volume is about the same today for Ripple, but the spread is a lot smaller and the market has bought up all the stockpile that revealed itself on trading yesterday. So what do we expect? We are still expecting Ripple to move slightly higher. And if that's going to be, it's going to be around 21 and a half cents, maybe even 22 cents. But if the market today was doing more selling than buying, then the market would come all the way back down to 20 cents because we are acknowledging the fact that stockpile is still on today's bar because the bar closed off of the lows. And that indicates well, tells us that they were selling in today in the market for today so our analysis is for ripple to at least trade sideways to maybe a little higher and that's only due to the fact that we are currently in a slight uptrend for ripple and until we get us a precursor of weakness we will stick with ripple trading sideways to maybe a little higher So now we're going to Litecoin. So Litecoin is up 1.16%. Last trade was at $63.01. So Litecoin is continuing its trek to be closing higher and moving higher in price. Even when the market is getting stockpiled on each of these trading days, the market continues to move higher. But you guys can look at the bottom of this price chart. And note that the volume is decreasing as Litecoin is moving higher. That is a precursor of weakness. And we will be expecting Litecoin to move lower. And on top of that, we do have stockpile on today's bar again. So we are expecting Litecoin to move lower. And that will be between $64 as the high. And it might come all the way back down to 62 or even $60 might even come all the way down to $61.50 so that probably would be more probable or likely for Litecoin to move to around $61.50 so 
So our analysis is for Litecoin to at least trade sideways to lower, and that would be between $64 all the way back down to $61.50 or even $60 if the market is really that weak. So now let's go to Dash. So Dash is down 2.06%. Last trade was at $416.25. So again, Dash is giving us more stockpile. This is the second day that Dash shot up to 440, but got hit with stockpile and the market closed lower. And we cannot take a lot of days to where we get stockpile consecutively and the market not move lower. So our expectation is for Dash to move sideways to lower. And we're going to put it on a smaller time frame and see what we got. So we are still expecting Dash to move lower. And the first location will be 410 for 405, $410 range. Ultimately, it might come all the way back down to 400 and it might touch it and move higher just like it did on these occasions here. Okay. So we're expecting Dash to move lower. And the first area is 410, 405, but then if the market's truly weak, it's going to come back down to $400. So I'm going to look at the 12 hour chart right quick. So this last 12 hour chart is pretty much like a trial run, and we need confirmation in order for the market to change its tone and to move higher because we are continuing to be getting hit with stockpile and the market is not necessarily moving. So it's our expectation that Dash will come back down to 400, 410, $405, and then it might move higher from there. But currently, we're not seeing Dash moving higher at this point. So now let's go to NEO. So NEO is down 1.14%. Last trade was at $29.18. So the market was able to shoot higher and then it shot lower and it came back and closed in the middle or towards the open of today's bar as well as the close from yesterday. So given the fact that NEO wasn't able to maintain higher price and the fact that we had pretty good precursors of strength the last three days, Neo may be just taking a break and giving us sideways trading action for tomorrow. So that will possibly be right again. I'm sorry, the same place that it traded today around $28 or it might come to 29 because I do see that as an area of support right now. And then the market may move higher to back up to around $30 in or around $30 again or even $30. But one of the things that we need to pay attention is the fact that this is turning into a precursor of weakness. So our expectation will be for NEO to continue to trade sideways at least, and that's $30 all the way back down to $28. So now let's go to Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic is down 2.15%. Last trade was at $17 and a nickel. So we knew that stockpile came in the market for Ethereum Classic. We had the result. The market closed lower than the close from yesterday. And it still was able to shoot a little higher. We forecasted it to go to 18, but it only went to $17.86. But nevertheless, the market is still giving us more precursors of weakness, and we will be expecting them to at least move lower to an area to where it can touch and the market may all the way come may all may come all the way down to sixteen dollars and fifty cents as an area to touch in or around sixteen dollars and fifty cents or if the market is truly giving us more weakness then it can come all the way down to sixteen dollars okay one of the things I want you guys to pay attention to is the fact that the volume is not being represented as it has been over the last five trading days. So obviously the market may become tired of the prices at this area and it will shoot lower. Okay. So that gives us more inclination 
and probability that Ethereum Classic will be moving lower again as well. So now let's go to Monero. So Monero is down 1.26% last trade, $119.96. So Monero is not necessarily moving, but the market is slowly moving lower on the close of each of these daily price bars. The market tried to move higher towards $124, but it wasn't able to maintain price. And as well, the volume is also increasing as well which tells us that interest in these prices are waning and we will be expecting Monero to also move lower and it's going to be right back down to $116 if not lower okay now we told you guys that where Monero is currently trading it is going to be a very key area for them to maintain that for them to move higher if they can't maintain $120 then they will be moving lower and then that first area would be around 116 115 and then ultimately all the way back down to 110 so we need to pay attention to Monero because it is giving us more precursors of weakness over the last three trading days but if we do get precursors of strength right now where it is trading then it can bounce from there and move higher to right around 125. so that's all we have for today appreciate you guys watching these videos hopefully you guys are gaining that confidence and see how easy it is how simple it is to predict price movement price predictions without using indicators you guys can do the same thing this is how phenomenal the language is for these markets that's all we have for today guys take care and know that the market overall may be trading sideways tomorrow some of these cryptos will be moving lower and some will be moving higher especially bitcoin but that's all we have for today you guys stay profitable and i'll talk to you guys later